We also gave the other two candidates an opportunity to discuss these charges. KSN2 News reporter Hannah Brandt joins us now in the studio to break down what they said. Hannah. Yeah, Molly, here during our KSNT debate tonight, both of Congressman Watkins' competitors had very different things to say about the charges against him. When asked about the charges against his opponent, Dennis Taylor sidestepped the question. I'll leave it to the voters to decide uh, what the district attorney's evidence is and how strong it is and whether there should be uh, some pros prosecution here and ultimate conviction. But that's not really what Congress is all about. But Jake LaTurner went on the attack. We need to put our best foot forward. Clearly, our current congressman with three felony charges and a misdemeanor charge is not the person to do that. In fact, I would say, Bob, that it's safe to say that this is now a two-person race. Prompting Congressman Steve Watkins to go on the defensive. This is very suspicious, seems highly political. We've cooperated with the district attorney completely. I'm unaware of this. I haven't seen the charges. Um, I simply know that I look forward to clearing my name. LaTurner kept pushing, though. I've got an eight-year-old son named Joe. Sweet kid, smart, good kid. Sometimes he messes up and fudges the truth. And I have to say, hey, Joe, take responsibility for what you've done. Be honest. All right. Steve Watkins needs to hear the same thing tonight. Overall, Watkins says he has faith the voters will back him. We have many, many polls that have me upward about 26 points ahead. The re and that's led to desperation and endless investigations, just like Donald Trump. Now, I talked to Congressman Watkins, and he told me he thinks this is a hyper-political attack, but it is worth noting that the Shawnee County District Attorney is a Republican. But the Congressman does say the District Attorney shares a political consultant with Jake LaTurner, which he believes factors into all this. From the studio, I'm Hannah Brandt. All right, thank you so much, Hannah. Now